difference between the generations or the are they more yeah, relaxed to the topics or are they still focused like a new generation? Do you think there's a difference from... Oh, I don't think I have such a wide perspective of uh, the young people here to answer it. Some, yeah, it's hard to know. <laughs> Some, yeah, it's hard to make, for me to make a statement. So I think there's statement. No, no possibility to say, okay, well, uh, not from my nowadays experience, it's... Yeah. You know, other people who study these things take polls and uh, maybe talk to a lot of the young people can say something more useful or accurate okay. because I, you know, I don't have enough information to say. I'd say, you know, a lot of bright people here. Yes, I can say that. Mm. But they're selected from, you know, a big, big bunch and so uh, they are bright. Mm. Yeah, mm. a bit better than the, the typical students you see in mm. universities. What is the most common questions they ask you here during the forum? Oh, uh, they ask things, a lot of things. They ask for advice. I don't give advice to anybody anytime. <laughs> so they want advice. Yeah, about what, what they, they should do to become great or something like that. Uh, yeah, so uh, also uh, they ask questions about me and that I can answer. I'm happy to answer questions about me. Can you tell us a little bit, bit about uh, the award you received uh, back in 1966, the Fields uh, Medal? Yeah, I, I got this Fields Medal. For, you mean the, uh, the mathematics? Yes. It's to, for topology, uh, Poincaré's conjecture in higher dimensions, structure of manifolds. Yeah. How was it during that time? How was it? Yeah, for you. Well, I was, you know, extremely, I don't know if you know uh, what happened then. Oh, it was extremely complicated because when I got it, I was under subpoena by the House Un-American Activities Committee. I had a press conference in Moscow, first ever, public. <laughs> and uh, so it was a big uh, thing you read about in the newspapers and history books and so on. <laughs> yeah, so it was a lot of turmoil. I had been active before that in anti-war protests. So I got the subpoena. I never received the subpoena, but it was issued to me. It's in the newspapers a lot about my leaving the subpoena to go to Moscow for the prize. And I had this interview on the steps of Moscow University with a lot of press, and then the, the, you know the Russians, uh, you know, they were nervous about it, but I was okay. But, front page stories in the New York Times and so on. <laughs> But you didn't know about all those things. <laughs> you, think it's, you think it's easier for researchers these times nowadays? Oh, mixed. Oh yeah, mixed because technology of uh, communication and writing is a lot better. And uh, the internet makes it a lot easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so probably uh, easier easier for me, with, uh, especially using internet, Google. Yeah. It's easier to get on to the papers, right? So uh, yeah. to, to get the papers nowadays, it's very yeah. easy, so you can just log in the internet and check what's... Yeah, yeah so uh, what I do is just ask Google a question that I'm interested in, in biology, which I'm learning. Yeah. And then they will refer me to a number of papers which answer the question. Uh, I can just look through those papers. And yeah. Yeah, so in that respect, it's a lot easier. Yeah, uh, in the old days, going, yeah, I had to go to the libraries and bring home a bunch of books. And uh, in other ways, it's probably easier, yeah. Mm -hmm. do, do you have a personal highlight from the forum? <laughs> uh, well, uh, see, I, you know, I like a lot this talk by Manuel Blum. Yeah, and uh, consciousness. That was a good highlight. Okay. And the hotel's good too. <laughs>